All right, guys, what's up? It's Justin back with another Fractal Radio where we cover the most interesting Web3 games out there. And today I'm talking with Josh and Isaiah from Kingdomverse. How are you guys? Great, great. Great to be here. Doing Happy to talk good. to you today. Doing pretty good. All right, so what is Kingdomverse? Can you tell me? Give me the one liner, the quick 30 seconds on what you're building. Sure. Um, so Kingdomverse is a game ecosystem that consists of multiple different mobile games that are connected by one dynamic open world social hub where players can uh, trade, explore, fight each other, uh, and interact with each other. In an, that's a 30 second real quick one sentence Kingdom verse in a nutshell. Awesome. And tell me about um, how you guys came to work on it. Yeah. So I um, got into a pro NFT project about a year and a half ago. And um, it was like during that time where everyone was sort of getting into NFTs. And, you know, I, I was really curious about this sort of new space. I wasn't necessarily new then, but for me it was. Um, I was really interested in the technology, uh, not just not just the hype, but I was like, interested in how it really changed uh, how we approach digital ownership. So I got involved with this NFT project. Um, I'm pretty happy to say it was pretty successful. It was uh, very successful in Asia. And um, from there, we started to grow the project and we decided we don't want to just focus on NFTs. Web3 is such an interconnected world. It's, there's so many things that you can do in tandem. Why limit um, yourselves to one thing? So we branched out into, you know, the metaverse and more so GameFi. Uh, we're, we're, a lot of us are gamers at heart and uh, we wanted to get into Web3 gaming. And that sort of led us to the Kingdomverse, which is a combination of all these different aspects of Web3 in one ecosystem. So GameFi, NFTs, the metaverse, um, tokenization. And yeah, that's, that's sort of the long and short of how I ended up from an NFT project, not knowing too much about Web3 to uh, Kingdomverse. It's been a wild journey. What was, so the, what was the project? It was Monkey Kingdom, which oh, gotcha. um, that was a it's huge like, one on Solana. Yeah, uh, we're really proud of that one because um, it was the first sort of big uh, Asian, at least Hong Kong based NFT project that really took off and it kind of put us on the map. And uh, yeah, it was a, it is a, still a great experience, crazy experience, but um, it's how you keep the juices pumping. And, and yeah, that, that NFT project actually the NFTs feature a lot in our game, you know, at least our first game. The characters there are from the NFT project. Um, they just become, you know, in-game avatars. So it all kind of connects together, really. It's, um, it's great to look back and see how something we started a couple of years ago has sort of, it still has its influence in what we're doing today. So you guys built this community and, um, and this NFT project, and then you were like, okay, let's make a game around it. Can you tell, talk about a little bit about the process of actually executing that? You know, it's kind of hard from a lot of people who don't have gaming experience. It's hard for them to build a game, you know? Yeah, you, yeah, it, definitely. So I should caveat with um, the rest of that, like my, the team uh, who aren't here today, of course. A lot of them have a long storied career. We're talking about a couple of decades in gaming. Uh, that was w obviously Web2 gaming. Um, but they know how to build successful and sustainable games that really last for a long time. Um, I think um, our CEO, he previously, some of the games that he's uh, been the head of, uh, head of the studio, they're still going today. And this is, we're talking like five, 10 years um, lifespan. So for them, I think it was quite a natural thing to see, okay, this is great. We have the NFTs. Uh, GameFi is such a huge slice of the pie. It's such a huge untapped market um, in t for, for Web3 at least. And I think for them, it was actually a, rather a natural progression to go from how do we incorporate these characters? How do we bring this user base from a pure NFT project to a more GameFi project? Gotcha. And tell us about the first project that you're creating. You know, it's a, you're about to release a game, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's called Defend the Kingdom. It's... Uh, casual tower defense game. Um, Isaiah, Isaiah is not just actually our head of community. He's a resident gamer. Like uh, <laughs> He's got so much experience in gaming. I think he could definitely walk you through Defend the Kingdom. Do you want to go ahead, yeah. Isaiah? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, yeah, I mean, a little backstory about me is uh, I'm pretty much, uh, the like what Josh said, the local uh, localized 
gamer here. Uh, to be fair, I've been a esports gamer here in Hong Kong. I've joined like certain local tournaments as well, and uh, I also streamed on Twitch um, with you know large audience base. So um, a yeah, a lot of, a lot of people. Yeah, it's a great platform. Like a lot a lot of people um, actually come up to me and stuff uh, asking about the game. So. Defend the Kingdom actually is a, a huge project of ours. It's um, you know, like what Josh said. It's a casual PvP tower defense mobile game where you can uh, prepare your base defenses, gather your heroes, and also build a team in Defend the Kingdom. So it's like a deck building game at the same time where you also have to strategize and also defend your area through you know the gameplay of tower defense. And you got to beat your opponents in real-time multiplayer mode. So that that's like gotcha. the base premise of what the game is. What platforms are you building it for? We're currently building uh, it mobile. for the yeah mobile mobile platform. Um, so it's available both on iOS and also on Android. And did you, you did you release it? When's it coming out? So we actually uh, released a, a closed alpha version a while ago, uh, just for testing. Um, that sort of thing. And uh, we got a great response from uh, the communities that we released it to. And the full game uh, will be released uh, Q1 next year. Awesome. Uh, and so tell, tell us about like, how do the NFTs interact with this game? Like what makes, how are you making this a crypto game? So currently um, our game is going to be a play to own model. So people can you know, play the game freely. Um, without having to own an NFT. But in future, we do have an NFT drop coming soon. Um, safe to say around December. Um, so these NFT models where you can own them and use them to be strictly used in our defense, uh, Defend the Kingdom game. And in the future, the other utility for it, besides you know being able to use it in one certain game, is we do plan to have access for these NFTs um, to be used in other mobile games that we have in the future and also in our metaverse. Gotcha. Cool. And so these are like the NFTs are characters or, um, or how did like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, the, the NFTs will, will be, you know, characters in our game. So obviously, you know, as, as gamers, we know some of the model for NFTs, um, some people might think NFTs will be, um, how do I say pay to win, right? Yeah. Um, we we obviously strictly know that this model will not work because people don't really like playing with other people who has the higher advantage to them. So what we're doing with our NFT jobs is basically we're having collections. We're, we're having several collections here and there. And as we upgrade our game, uh, all these NFT collections will be unlockable um, during its time. So, so let's say our first job next month um, it will be a set of characters that will be locked for a certain period. Um, but uh, after the collection drops, maybe after a few weeks, maybe if, after a few months, the players who did not get a chance to buy them can get to earn them by you know continue playing the game. Oh, gotcha. So, so it's, buying it's, into it's, this NFT drop is like an early access to get to play these Pretty characters. much. It, it, it's, it's like an early access or you could say like, you know, uh, a, a reward for players who are supporting our games. Um, so, yeah, we, we don't really want to justify that, you know, um, we're locking these characters just for the sake of locking them. No, 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 no. We, we locking them to see, like, if you're interested in these characters, hey, feel free to go ahead and, you know, try, try them out. If not, then you can wait for a few few weeks, few months until we fully release them for the public to play. Um, so that's for our first drop. And we do have like other drops coming soon where we want to, you know, continuously improve our game, continue, continuously make it more fun and engaging for the player base. Um, we're, we're thinking of creating an your NFT um, collection where it's going to heavily impact our gameplay uh, I can't really speak too much about it because we're still in the developing page. But yeah, it's going to be another NFT drop that's going to be heavily changing how our game works. So every every month, every patch that we have for this game is going to be entirely different from the previous one. Gotcha. And and so you're this is the first game of many, right? Your plan is to build, it sounds like an ecosystem of games that all use the same characters. Is that how you're thinking about it? 
Uh, it won't necessarily be uh, so. So let's say uh, you have an NFT of me, right? Um, yes, you, uh, this profile of me will be usable in our Defender Kingdom. Um, you'll see the same version of me and whatnot. But in our uh, next game, we're going to do like probably um, what I'm wearing, like this green shirt. You'll be seeing this green shirt in a different game. Um, maybe you'll even see like my glasses in a different game. Maybe you'll have like my voice acting in a different game. So there's going to be a lot of unique, unique personalities that these NFTs will bring to different games as well. Gotcha. And tell me about um, the metaverse that you're creating and how is that going to work? Uh, yeah. So the metaverse aspect itself, it's, as I said, it will be like a social hub that really combines all of these games, right? So players will play our mobile games. They'll earn you know, a variety of different assets, whether that's NFTs, tokens. Um, it you know, depends on the players themselves. But we need a common place where these assets can be traded, they can be used, um, they can be sold even. And that will be the metaverse aspect of it. Um, as well as it just being a social hub, it also has its own sort of native game, which is a real-time strategy game. So within uh, Kingdomverse, the ecosystem, there are little plots of uh, land or little islands called kingdoms. And these are all customizable NFTs. So players can purchase these um, and then they can upgrade them. They can fight against other kingdoms. Uh, they can form up with other players as well to form guilds that we're calling empires. And all of these uh, actions are facilitated by the assets that you earn playing the mobile games. Um, so, you know, to get stronger in the metaverse, you, you, the, a, a very solid way of doing so would be playing the mobile games and earning game items from there, which then can be ported over to the metaverse. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the metaverse aspect of it. So a, a social hub that connects all these games, but also forms its own battleground where, and marketplace as well, I should say, um, where players can choose how to then spend the assets they've earned. Awesome. And, um, Tell me about the drop, this, this first, uh, well, it's, it's not your first NFT drop because you're kind of riding on the previous collections, right? But like, tell me about the, the first drop that you guys are going to do with Fractal, you said the next month, right? Right, yeah, next month. So the, the next, uh, so this drop will contain at least like 10 of our heroes in our game. Um, they're going to have like special um, effects, uh, such as being a shiny variant. And also have uh, you also have a chance of getting a pulsing effect where it's going to be like a rainbow tinfoil card that you get to see, you know, in a very rare um, booster deck. So these NFT drops will contain at least 10 of our heroes where they'll be locked for a certain amount of period before the, before the uh, free to play players can actually unlock them. Gotcha. And uh, tell us the details of like how much how much is this? NFT drop gonna be how many? What's this collection size? The best part about this is it's gonna be a free mint. <laughs> so it's a free mint with a uh, one thousand two hundred NFT um collection. So if you if you're interested in it, it's a free mint. Go 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 ahead and get it. Cool. And that's, yeah, I think uh, Isaiah is it'll... being uh. Isaiah is understating that. I mean, I've seen the, yeah. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen the NFTs, and I obviously people are gonna watch this and think, okay, he's biased, but they're pretty damn cool, uh, and it's for yeah. free. So I know I'm gonna be there. Uh, I've told my <laughs> friends already, so and we, we we think it's gonna go real fast. So um, yeah, a free yeah. mint with really cool characters that have great utility. I wouldn't miss it. Personally. Yeah, I mean, I mean, based based off our community response. Uh, I could say, like, at the first day, probably, like, 90% would be sold. Yeah. Or cool. even hell. Yeah. I think it's going to be sold out the first day, honestly. <laughs> um, and they can find that right at fractal.is slash kingdomverse. Is that, is that where it'll be? Yes. Cool. Is there anything else uh, you want to cover that we haven't talked about? Mm. Oh, we're, we're doing a tournament with you guys. It's actually starting tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, tell us about the tournament. Tournament. Yeah, no. So the tournament. Yeah, it's gonna. It's. It's. I think our largest tournament yet. Uh, we we've, we've held several different tournaments, but this time we're introducing a prize pool worth of three thousand USDC, 
And I think, yeah, it's one of the biggest, um, you know, free tournaments that players can register and play with, you know, with Fractal. Um, the first, like, whoever plays this game will get a whitelist for our first drop NFT. So if you guys really want the NFT, you guys better play the game, you know, support Fractal, support Defend the Kingdom. Um, all you have to do is, like, connect your Fractal wallet to our game just to get the... Um, yeah, the fr get the free, free, free list. No, sorry, the white list for the free mint. Uh, besides that, uh, first place will obviously you know get the top pri top prize for our um tournament, and we do have like special exclusive drops that we haven't revealed yet to the community. If you reach uh, top one to top ten, so if you guys are really interested interested in joining, you guys better like sign up and play the game right now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I mean, I uh... think. I think uh, our last tournament uh, was to a much smaller sample size than we're, the one we're going to get tomorrow in Fractal, obviously. I think thousands will probably be there. But we had some crazy numbers from that. We had one guy that played um, like almost 30 hours straight just to... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so we're really excited tomorrow um, to see like, you know, much more people come and, and the game sort of to be really introduced to, to the public, uh, so to speak, for the first time. And, yeah, on, on a pa uh, platform like Fractal, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Cool. And so where can, where can people find out more about uh, Kingdomverse? Yeah, so people can find Kingdomverse through, you know, our website, kingdomverse.xyz. Um, if you want to learn more about the Fractal tournament as well, you can go to fractal.is forward slash Kingdomverse. And you can see more details about, you know, what the tournament uh, entails. Uh, besides that, you can always follow our social media, twitter.com slash kingdomverse uh, underscore. Um, you, you'll see like updated news of what the tournament is uh, uh, all about. You'll get to see who's you know top rank uh, daily, and you'll also get to see um, like certain hidden items and you know hints and tips that will provide you guys to get the upper edge against your opponents. All right. Thanks, guys. It's uh, exciting to hear about the game, and I'm looking forward to checking out the NFT collection and the tournament. All right. See ya. All right. Thank you, guys.